Um, hi, Scholar. Thanks for helping my project. Uh, could you say a little bit about yourself? Hello, my name is Skyler. Uh, I'm from Florida. Um, I have a lot of passions for the universe, storms, um, anything in the sky. I guess it's kind of crazy with my name being Skyler. So I've, I've studied a lot of it since I was little. Um, when I say it's a passion of people, they're always like, you just want to work for NASA and stuff. It's not that I want to work for NASA. I would love to, to even just be able to go there, but to just be able to explore, to use NASA's equipment, you know, to explore, to see stuff that is just beautiful to me and for others to want to see it. Um, I know there's a lot of, there's a lot of dangers out there. Um, it's just, it's, I want to view it. There's a lot of dangers that like with storms. I've always wanted to be a tornado chaser. That's my first, my first passion. Um, just to be there, just to see it. Even if it was like people, I guess my last day, I would probably choose to go to space and be able to view and see everything. Um, if say like a, a manatar or something was coming in, you know, so we knew we have no choice, nowhere, anywhere. Whether I leave here or not, I still, I don't want to see it. And I would want others to be able to just view everything from every, everywhere, from one angle. Because I know a lot of people, I mean, not from one angle, but it kind of is from one angle because it's just one wide angle. <laughs> but a lot of people, they don't see it that way and they don't want to see more and they just want to settle. So <laughs> try not to cry. Um, it's all very interesting to me to watch stuff, to be able to know when stuff's coming. Um, I've always watched for solar flares and stuff since I was little. That was like the only thing I wanted to get on the internet and do. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's an amazing universe we live in. I mean, uh, whenever we draw pictures of the sun, uh, you know, we just put like a little yellow circle in the corner but it's really a, a very dynamic thing with solar flares and all this activity that, you know. Yeah, we just the really... ore cloud, just everything, all of it is just, it's amazing, it's amazing. I wanna be able to explore it. I want others to want to, you know, not everybody will get the chance to, but just want to, want to see it, you know, um, have interest in it and, it's just, there's so many things that people, you know, they, they settle for and they don't really care to look for other stuff that's beautiful. Like you say, um, people that will settle making perfume <laughs> and they don't want to um, explore or hear anything about space and stuff every day. They just, they want to just, I got a new fragrance. <laughs> I want people to want to have more fun to life and to want to feel you know, like there's more to life than just what they set up for. Yeah, it's uh, amazing as as civilizations advance, we've gotten more and more isolated from the natural world, which has made- um, I want better, e like our ecosystems are terrible. Um, we definitely need, we need to advance that um, elsewhere. I like Jupiter's moons. <laughs> The moon is one of my favorites, but Jupiter's moon's also. Um, I'm trying to get my own business started um, so that I can maybe get my own kind of equipment built to get out there. You know, start getting an ecosystem out elsewhere. Um, and just maybe, I love animals, I got a lot of animals, so I just want better ecosystems for people that want it also and who care, you know, for all living species. There's a lot, I could say, I could go on and on. Um, well, I had a few questions I wanted to ask you. Okay. Um, so, did you know that NASA was planning to send astronauts uh, to the moon again for the first time since 1972? I did. Um, I thought they had already chose some, the ones that were going, though. 
They haven't chosen them yet. They usually choose their astronauts two years ahead of the mission. And um, Artemis II is gonna be the first time that they're going to be launch, uh, uh, launching astronauts around the moon. And currently that's slated for 2024. So they should be choosing the four astronauts that will be going around the moon uh, sometime soon, actually. I've seen there was no seats open until 2025. And it was 125,000 for a seat. So if that is the case, I, I'm trying to get, <laughs> I'm gonna try to be able to get that ride. Well, well, maybe I, not I around the moon. I know it's just, I think it's just low earth orbit for that for six hours. That, oh, but, are you talking about like Virgin Galactic? Maybe. Uh, with the like the airplane and it has like the little airplane that detaches and goes it's above like a little atmosphere. a little i'm not sure it's i don't know it's a little like capsule maybe oh okay then that must be blue origin it's like a 15 minute <laughs> trip it goes up comes back down hang on baby <laughs> um, so, so what do you think about us going back to the moon um, I think this, I would love to see it. Hey. I would love to see the footage oh. of just going on the moon. That's my baby. That's my twin. How are you doing? She said, how are you? Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I would, I would love to be able to experience going to the moon. A lot of people say that's out of my reach right now. Um, I could watch my telescope as they go. I'll definitely be outside. I'll that's definitely a really be outside. cute puppy. Thank you. This is actually a Parvo survivor. Wow. I hope this little baby live. It took about two weeks. It was very exhausting, but he's still in recovery he's a little bit he's almost better though mm, this is titan titan okay baby <laughs> hang on baby uh so what do you think about us sending back uh, people back to the moon when we send people back to the moon what are they going to be doing when they go they're just going to are they going to just go around the moon? They're going to get out and get on the, you know, step on the moon. Um, Artemis three, uh, they're supposed to uh, land on the moon and step out on the moon. Um, so that'd be it's currently planned for 2025, and um, there's a whole list of science objectives that they want to achieve. Um, you know, everything from uh, seeing if there's really water ice uh, in these permanently shadowed craters near the poles of the moon. Um, a whole bunch of other uh, kind of, you know, understand like the history of the sun's, um, uh, you know, as the solar winds have been hitting the moon, they've been making an impact, um, mm -hmm. understanding, uh, and, and there's a whole list of them. I, I don't remember all of them specifically, but I, I think there's a lot we still have to learn uh, from the moon. I would like to go on the moon to just like that, test some things out, just walk a little bit further than maybe they have, um, see for myself. Um, because you really can't, whenever you hear what other people have a experience, so you still, you don't get to experience it the same as they did, you know, and so. And some people, they still could have left some things out just by talking about it from being excited, you know, and there's something they missed that they forgot to say. And so I would love to see them go back to the moon. I would love to see the footage. I would love to go to the moon myself. Um, I have hopes to one day soon. So if it was possible, you would go? I would go. Now, Elon Musk uh, is talking about uh, building a million person city on Mars by 2050. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, if he uh, makes that possible, would you consider immigrating to Mars? I would, I would. Um, I just would have a few questions for him. 
Um, I know there's not uh, many, there's not many spaces. I guess it would just be dogs. <laughs> Do dogs get to immigrate to the moon? I would still go, but uh, or Mars or anywhere. That was my only question. <laughs> yeah, we should uh, bring all of life with us. That's what I hope. Yeah, that's what I hope for. as much of it as possible. Oh, see, that's my only question I've really had. But Other I don't, than I that, don't know. I've been doing research on um, the radiation on Mars. How long we'd have to be in little ecosystems that we would, they would build. Um, how long um, do you say we would be in those? Would it be permanently forever? Or would we finally be able to come out and say, see like Mars sunsets and feel the air? Yeah, that's a good question. Could we uh, thicken the atmosphere enough so that we could go outside mm -hmm. without having to have a big bulky suit? Could mm -hmm. we make it the atmosphere um, non-toxic and have enough oxygen? Uh, you know, those and, are, and what about in Mars's, sorry, um, volcano? Is that still active or do we know? I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's, it's active at the moment. Of course, volcanoes here on Earth are inactive for long periods of time and then suddenly they come back to life. So. so if whenever they do that, okay, only one more question about that. Since I don't know this part of, would they be on the side with the Alvacrino? Would they build the ecosystems and everything on that side near that? Um, are we going to study that before we go or them? But I mean, you know, Mars is, I have a lot of questions. Mars is one third the size of Earth. So you can still be on Mars and be a good distance away from the volcano. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That'd be cool to study a Mars volcanoes. I bet they're a lot different than Earth. Or do you think they're about the same? I don't know. Hmm. But that's all the reason to go, right? Actually, I don't know that much about volcanoes here on Earth. Um, I also love to look up um, stuff like any stats for volcanoes, active, unactive, um, the ring of fire. I like to watch for all that. I have also watched for all that since I was little. So it's all very interesting to me. Um, people say I'm crazy. They're like, really? That's really like what you what you want to do? Or and I'm just, you know, I guess just to just to really see it doesn't have to be a job at all just to see it to be there to be a part of it to help others to build I like to learn stuff um, I really like to learn stuff so I would help build if I had to help build on Mars or the moon um I was thinking like implanting Mars or the moon with I think they've already suggested it also. I think I've seen that. We're just implanting it with resources that we could use. There's other resources on other planets that we could get and then implant other planets, I think, or resources that would help us. That would maybe be closer to Mars or just the moon of Mars anywhere. I think there's a lot. There's a lot I could go into it about. And I'm, I have questions about, I would definitely love to be a part of it to help i mean, even if it's just to inspire people and if if i couldn't go but i could inspire inspire people who could go then i would definitely I would still do it yeah that would be that would be amazing so i have a question whenever you think about the future of humanity like 100 years 200 years from now uh, what does it look like to you um, it's blurry. I can't really, um, it's one half, like I see a lot of technology and everything a lot more, way more improved. And then the other half is like wars and stuff and climate change. So it's blurry. <laughs> it's blurry. Well, how about this? What do you want it to be? 200 years I want it now. to be peaceful. I want it to be peaceful to everybody to want to learn and to want to build better ecosystems and be kind. Um, I want there to be, you know, resources for everybody and it to just be kind of fair, I guess. Um, 
I don't want it to be so angry. There's a lot of angry people. That's true. So. Oh, I get so upset when I talk about this kind of stuff. Because I really do. I want good for humanity. Now, imagine this. Your great, great, great granddaughter has grown her grown up on Mars her entire life. Mm -hmm. And she's in high school now. And uh, they're having to do a history project on the 2020s. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything about this current time that we're living in that you think would be good for to put in her, her paper? I would say that humanity has, it's when it, it's a good time, humanity, I mean, these past 10, 15, 20 years, I think have been well, very well, how could I say this? Just the way they've come together to want to explore more, and we made a lot of discoveries. Um, I would say we're farther than what I thought we would be um, into in the twenty twenties. In the twenty twenties, we are. We're doing amazing things. I would actually, yes, I would say we are. Like the, te the James Webb Telescope and just, we're doing amazing things. And yeah, we I would say this was the starting, the start of, you know, of where, if that was where she is, it would be, I would say that would have been the start. All these years was the starting of like something amazing you know, beautiful ecosystems where everybody there wants better ecosystems and to just be excited for every day and happy, peaceful, building, growing, um, not just really settling, but still wanting to grow and learn more even after they get settled. That's, uh, that's amazing. Well, Skylar, I know we talked about a lot of things. Is there anything that you wanted to talk about or did you have any questions for me? Um, have you ever been to space? I have not. I have been weightless though. Uh, there, been weightless. You, can, you can have this airplane that uh, goes like this and you can float 30 seconds at a time. So I did get to experience that. But I've never been, been to space. So do you plan to go to space? Um, only in the vague, I hope it becomes a possible at some point type of plans, not in the, you know, I got to do this, got to do this, got to do this. Uh, type There's of a lot of things. <laughs> That's what's in my head. I got to do this. I got to do this. <laughs> There's a lot to figure out, you know, yes. with space. And so, but it's, I think it's worth figuring out. I do. So. Yeah, I'm thinking by 2030, um, you know, we'll be able to travel to space. Uh, a lot more people will be able to go than have ever gone before, I think. That's what I think. I, I think that'll be amazing. I hope, I hope so too. That'll be amazing. Yeah. I hope so. Maybe that'll open maybe more people's, you know, just hearts and eyes to just realize we are all so small in a huge, huge universe. And it's nothing as bad as a lot of people will try to make it seem and they don't have to make it be bad either, so. That's true. Yeah, I saw somebody post uh, something that said, uh, when looking at the earth from the moon, every war is a civil war <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> um. That's probably, is that something that maybe I shared? Um, it says, okay. I don't want to Let me see, is it recent? I want to reread it. I, I feel like Do it was recent. Anything? I thought it was, I, I thought Andrew Paris is the, the gentleman that I thought had shared that. Let's see. Oh, you know, it was Brett, it was Brett Hofstede. Oh, let's see. Brett. 
for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing. Ah, uh, yeah. There we are. Here, I can share this. You have with it. You. Okay. Um. So I guess I click here, and then I could do this, and then I can come back over here and do this. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Is it? Let's see. Did it come through? Let's see. I do believe that every war on Earth is pretty. It is pretty, I do believe that um, from the moon, that's, I think really from any views, the war, it makes me sad, I don't like the war. I don't like people to want to fight, I don't know why. I know, it's, it just basically um, reduces I resources to, I, mean, I try everybody. to be positive, you know, there is, and you know, so I try to be positive about any situation, whether somebody makes me mad or not. Um, I know there's a lot of disagreements. A lot of people don't agree on a lot of things. And if they don't agree, I think they should just not maybe talk. You know, there's other people. Okay, if y'all don't agree, maybe somebody else down the line. If it's for resources, say, to trade or anything, then maybe somebody else down the line that you could maybe get along with better talk to do trades. It doesn't have to be just... Uh, chaos. It doesn't have to be chaos. Yeah, it's so difficult, you know. It is. <laughs> it's like, um, you know, you always have bullies, and you know how there's do you always learn? bullies, and then and then there's like where. You want to bully bullies, but then bullying bullies is still being a bully. <laughs> I so, know. so, you know, it's not still not right. I know there's just there's a lot of people. There's there's angry people that take other things out on other people also. So that's bad. Um, that's what I don't want. I don't want people to take what somebody else did to them on out on other people. I like say I'm on the Launchpad channel on YouTube on a chat, and I'm just talking in the chat and just about science stuff. And somebody comes on, and it's just like it seems like he's just mad at every woman on there that talks, and mm. it's just like maybe it's because his wife left him or something you know and he came on there and just being rude to every woman and scientists um on there like i'm harvard went to harvard and just well well people that should not should not ever have to worry about somebody coming on there and putting them down for one misspelled word Hello, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, no worries. Uh, you were telling me about troubles you were having on uh, Discord, and I was uh, so sorry to hear about that. You're right. Um, people should be able to have good conversations without problems like that. But I was wondering, you know, if we do set up a city on Mars, should there be certain types of people we send to Mars? and not like in order to make Mars a peaceful place? I think everybody that wants the same thing. Um, I believe everybody wants the same thing. So I don't think that there should be anybody that should not be allowed to go to space, um, to Mars. 
Um, if they have bad intentions and they show that and it's shown and shown and they don't ever say, hey, I, you know, I have good intentions, but I'm angry, so I'm just being bad, you know. Um, you know, there's, it's just, there's people who really, they don't, they don't want good. They don't want to see people do good and they don't want to ever have anything become a peace force for them. They're just, I guess, maybe angry. And, but I feel like there's still hope for those people you know, to not be angry if they were in better ecosystems, had better chances at things. And so, Maybe maybe Mars would change them. I, I think Mars which I think Mars will change a lot. I do. Mars is a very powerful planet, I believe. <laughs> so um I think I think everybody should have a chance. And it just depends on them whether they really want it and what they want out of it. That, that makes sense. Well, uh, Skylar, um, I really appreciate you talking to me and uh, thank you for sharing your thoughts. I, I think uh, people looking back on this recording um, uh, from 100 years, 200 years, will, will, sh will sh share your points of view. Oh, though. No. I hope people really, I hope it inspires people um, and they really, I hope it brings more people together. It helps more people become more understanding. I hope so. Well, um, thank I you for the interview with me. <laughs> thank you again. And if you know anybody <laughs> else, I have over a thousand more days to go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I know it's a great thing to be able to hear stories and hear why. Absolutely. And I hope, um, one question, what, whenever you are interviewing, what is your mission for the interviews? Is this just a scientific um, kind of research um, thing? Well, it's a combination of lots of things. I think number one is a personal development thing, just uh, getting out there, talking to people. Um, you know, being able to go up to people on the street and reach out to people online and have a conversation. Um, and then to uh, just a genuine curiosity and how people are seeing and processing the world. Uh, what do people think about us going back to the moon? Do they see humanity going out into the rest of the solar system? Or, or do they think it's pointless because the end of the world's coming? You know, I mean, like, what do people think? Um, so um, that type of thing. And, and three, I'm hoping that it serves as sort of like a time capsule for future generations to kind of look back on. And through the voices of nearly 2,000 people being able to see, um, you know. Uh, so I always kind of hope, um, which one is it, a spacecraft that's out now and the horizon or beyond? Oh, the like uh, Voyager? Voyager, yes, it is Voyager. Okay, um, that has a little note for just from humanity floating. I've always hoped to kind of be like that, a little, little time capsule <laughs> floating, um, for people to see hundreds of years from now. That would be really awesome. That that would be cool. Well, Skylar, I, I better let you go. I hope you have a good rest of your night. And um, if you know anybody else that's willing, please send them my way. I will. If you um, send me the in a link that you have for it, I would definitely will share it. I would love to. I appreciate that. I'll do that right now. All right. Thank you. Okay. Good night. You have a good night.